Hello everyone, this is Kat with Cat Night TV, and we're here in Black Desert Online. Uh, this is CVT2, and I just wanted to go through some of the graphic settings so that you guys know what's in here, what you can tweak, and what it does. Now my computer in particular is not uh, top of the line at the moment. I'm actually working on getting a new one built. But as you can see, even my um, gaming laptop that's about three years old now can actually handle this game pretty well. It doesn't have the highest of frame rates uh, with the graphics up like I have them right now. But it's still handling pretty good. And I wanted to show you guys how beautiful this game is. Um, I actually found the ocean and it uh, looks like one of the cities up there. I haven't been up there yet, but I um, was having a lot of fun exploring and looking at this beautiful world as it is. So, so what you want to do is you can hit escape when you're in the game. And there's actually a really lot of things you can do um, to make your game look better. So you can hit settings and go to screen. You should be on it. Display settings by default. Now I am in windowed mode. Uh, this may or may not be your preference, but I like to switch back and forth. I have uh, guildmates and friends that I speak to all the time. And I like to have it where I can pull up my um, I have two screens, so I like to pull up my uh, Google sometimes and search for something or look into something. But that's up to you. Um, again, if you want to see the graphics this nice, you can go to high texture quality. Uh, obviously, if you have a system that struggles, you can go down to low, and I'll show you how that looks like. Da -da -da -da. It takes it a moment usually to switch. And then again you can see even with low texture quality that it doesn't really look that bad. So you're not really going to suffer and miss a whole lot. I mean there's going to be some blurring and it's not going to look quite as nice, but um, you know, again. Set that. Now that actually doesn't affect your FPS so much. I'll show you what does. So you're pretty good to set it on high and just leave it there. Just let it do its thing. See, and you can see a huge difference, especially in like this, the clarity of this rock here. And so it's worth having it set to high. So. Unless you're really struggling, you usually don't need to set that low. See, my FPS is pretty low at the moment because of things that I have on now. Overall graphic quality, you might want to set that down a little bit. Each tier actually can change how well your FPS, or how fast your FPS is going. Frames per second, for those of you who aren't sure what that is. What that means. You can see it jumped up quite a bit by just setting it down to high, and it still looks really good. So, anti-aliasing, it softens the graphics in the game. Usually that's a good thing to have on. If it's not on, things can kind of look grainy at times. SSAO is, uh, spatula, let's see now, I, I might say this wrong, spatial depth, uh, with detailed shadow effects. That can definitely impact your frames per second. Anything with shadows usually does. But it doesn't seem to be super uh, impactful. Screen filter. Now, I turn this off. I don't really like blurring the distant view. I like seeing the, the crisp lines, but you can turn that on if you prefer the look of it. It kind of gives it more of a drawn effect. And again, that doesn't really impact frames per second that much. So. <coughs> It's more of a preference for what you like. Depth of field. Um, I don't like depth of field personally. It can uh, cause a blurry effect for uh, scenes, so I usually turn that up and get uh, off, and again, that's your preference. Um, improved distance. I think that really helps a lot. 
Especially when you're looking at far off objects. Whoops. So if you're looking at far off things, kind of like those cliffs over there. Kind of help. Certain things will pop into view. You see things a little bit more clearly, and you see more of the just disappeared back there. So, for me, I like having it on, but it can impact your FPS. So you might want to turn that off if you're having struggles. Now, high-end mode. Um, this is definitely an impact on your FPS, but it makes everything look really good. So if you've got that high-end video card, um, that Titan or that TI card, that's the setting you want. As you can see, it just pretty much killed my FPS. But it makes everything look really nice. So if you can play with that on, I would totally recommend it. The ship. This game is really beautiful. I just love it. I'm going to turn that off, because it's killing my FPS. And of course, this can vary based on the graphics card, so this may or may not be the same exact thing for you, but in general, yes, it's high end. Um, my husband and I have tested it on our different computers, and both of us have had more lag with it on, but again, it looks so good with it on. Um, it doesn't look bad with it off, but it makes a difference. Um, show blood, pretty self-explanatory there. Uh, if you're killing things, there's blood splattering everywhere. Again, if you're lagging like crazy, you could turn this off and maybe save on some of those frames per second lost. Show blood on display, same thing. Um, and show attack, that just shows you um, the other um, mobs that you're attacking, they flash when this is on. If you don't like them flashing like that, you can turn them off. It doesn't really affect that much. Now, crop mode is really interesting, and it can actually increase your FPS quite a bit. So if you turn that on, you can adjust the width and height of your screen. You can hit apply to see it. And as you can see, the game window itself is now smaller. And there is a border around it. So you might be thinking, why on earth would I want to do that? That doesn't make sense. Well, I'll tell you why you might want to. I like having it where the width is still pretty much all the way to the edge. Well, there we go. And the height is a little bit more narrow, so it's kind of like cinematic style. And the reason I like doing this is if you apply this, confirm it, and you go back to your menu by hitting Escape, and you hit Edit UI, you can actually move everything where most of it's out of your screen, so you can kind of you can scale it. You can move things up and out of the way. For example, like you want to move your party up here if you want. Know. You can move your party and fill up here. <laughs> I moved this, it was right here, I moved it down here. Uh, your chat window, again, you can move it down here. The game tips are down there, so you can do what you'd like. But that, I don't like having the chat in the way. But again, you can kind of size it and space it wherever you prefer. And that can help quite a bit. And that way everything is actually out of the way of your actual screen. So I'm going to save that. And then that way 
you actually have more view distance. And then there's additionally, you can go over here and size things. You know that the chat bar you can. Like this. Have it longer rather than taller if you'd like. It just helps. Of course, up here now it's kind of so I might need to move things to the end. Might take a little bit of playing around with it to get it where you want it. Okay, I wish I could show you where everything is. A little bit of fun in this there. out of the way now. And it actually might help some people see these icons and things a little bit better, a little bit more clearly without um, background stuff in the way, basically. Game stuff distracting you, movement, things like that on the screen. Alright, so another thing you can go through and do is this is upscale, uh, which basically... it renders the in-game graphics smaller than actual resolution so that can actually save you a lot on FPS as well as you can see mine is now all the way up to um, 30, 40, some, somewhere in there depending on what's going on the screen. Energy saving, um, I think that's more for laptop users, adds power saving functions. Uh, remove others, lanterns, you want to click this Otherwise, you have a mass of incredibly annoying lights, and even your own lantern is truly more than enough to light up the area at night. So you want to click that unless you just want your screen to white out every time you're in a group of people. It gets a little bit obnoxious. Um, remove others effects, same thing. You may or may not want this on. I like to remove it. I really don't need to see everybody's sparkly effects. Um, it's just not conducive to the game anyway. And you can remove distant players' effects as well, and all of those things will actually help you increase your FPS as well, especially when you're in groups of people, maybe not so much way out here where we're pretty much just looking at this beautiful ocean, but especially if you're in town, that's going to help a lot. So another thing you can do is, right here you've got the interface scaling again. You can decide how you want that. <coughs> doesn't really show much right here, but... Okay. Camera effects, again, this can be aggravating if you don't like shaking and things like that, so you might want to turn that down a little bit. Um, these are all, these are shake. Turn on however you prefer. After image effects, same thing. Softening effects for transitions. In combat, this shaking can get like, really aggravating if you're the kind of person who gets headaches easily from playing games, so you might want to turn that way down just a little bit just to get that effect but not so much that it's going to drive you insane. So, And then zoom in and out effects. Uh, so that's just the intensity of how the camera zooms in and out. That's kind of your preference as well. Photo filters are kind of neat. <coughs> and I'll show you why. You can actually do a lot with these. So say you want to get some really cool pictures of your guild, your friends, your, you found this beautiful beach, you bought a really cool bikini, and I will do a section on the outfits that are in there. I'll do a little video to show you guys um, shortly. So uh, you can adjust the photo filters here. This is Vibrance. This is the default. And then you've got uh, black and white contrast, which would make really great photos. Black and white lights. An evening shot. It looks pretty cool. Filmic. 
gives it kind of a, I don't know, just a unique and different kind of look there. Kind of a dark, foggy look. A warm look in the morning. Nothing, this is like, if you have absolutely no filters on in the game, this is just what the paint looks like. Bleached. Good effect. Cool. Cross. I am old style. It's kind of an old timey picture look. Except yeah, same thing. And then the default is uh vibrates again. You can adjust your gamma. So this is really handy. Uh, especially at night, it gets really hard to see in this game. So sometimes uh, you might want to adjust your gamma. Contrast, same thing. And then vision range. This kind of zooms in and out on the character. You can be really zoomed in. Or you can kind of have more of a away third person view. I find I like it a little closer. Again, that's perfect. <clears throat> and then here is where you can do your screenshot format settings. So you can save it as JPG, which is probably the best bet for general screenshots. But if you want really high quality, I would suggest PNG. BMPs uh, also are high quality, but they're a really big file uh, compared to PNG or JPG. So if you want that really super high crisp quality, you can go with BMP. Uh, but PNG is usually just as good. At least in my experience, there might be graphics things out there who can tell you different, but it seems like to me PNGs are usually the winner. So that's basically everything you can do with your game as far as uh, screen settings. So hopefully that helped you guys out. Uh, make sure you leave a comment if that did help you, uh, a like if you enjoyed it, and make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss the next uh, Black Desert online overview. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.